Welcome to Troy and Jones' five-minute tech tip. This tech tip is on Google Maps or My Maps. And we have loved this feature, being able to store maps inside Google Drive. Very powerful. So right now I'm in Google Drive, and I can just go to New. And you have your Google Docs and all your Google Slides and things. But if you go to More, you have Others, and you have Google My Maps. So if you select Google My Maps, it takes you to your maps under Google Maps. And so you have, you can create your own maps here. Um, so I'm just going to name this one Test Map. And I could add a description to it if I wanted to. Um, and then you have layers that you can put on there. So I'm going to work in this layer, and I'm just going to call it Test Layer so I can easily find it. Um, and you could import a spreadsheet if you wanted to. So if you had a Google form where you were entering a lot of data, you could import um, those coordinates, those addresses, whatever. That that's, a, that's a lot fun for the beginning of the year to import uh, where were you born. That's, yeah, that's an interesting way to use it. Um, so once I'm in my layer, I have a little toolbar up here. Um, and I can select Add Marker. So I'm just going to pick roughly where I am, Indianapolis. I mean, you can zoom in and be more accurate if you want, but um, and I'm just going to guess. So then you can add a description. But then the other neat thing is you have this little add image or video, so you could add a, an image um, or, or a video. So I'm just going to do a quick search, pick, pick one video, select. And so it adds that video in, so then when I share this map with people, they can play that video inside here. So I'll save that one. Um, and then I want to, inside my own, I'm going to close this one out, inside my own map, add another point. I'm going to add a point around where Joan is. DC. <laughs> Let's put you right there. I don't know how close that is, but, but oh, you're a little bit south of there, aren't you? Pete? That's okay. <laughs> so there, and then add... Won't add an image or video here, but then save. And then I've got two points. I could put hundreds of points if I wanted to. I've had students use books that were um, novels that had a lot of points, and we mapped out the points um, that the author talked about and things like that. So then once I have these two, um, I can draw a line between them. I can do add a driving route, and it will put the driving route between these two points. Um, and so you can link points just A to B, or you can do a driving route um, with that tool. Um, and then, go ahead, Joan. I was just going to say, um, we do units on the Explorers. It's a great opportunity for kids to see exactly how far those routes were, Magellan around the world. Um, it's also really nice if you go on field trips, the kids can document uh, where they were on the field trip. Or maybe even uh, if you're doing battlefields, uh, lots of opportunity to give them a full range of strategy during the battle. And uh, another tool I like is the um, ruler here where you can measure distances. And you can even do that. So I just, you know, made a huge tri you know, triangle that is 100, uh, 103,000 square miles. So you can use that as a geometry lesson as far as measuring out distances and then calculating um, square mileage and things like that. So um, then once you're finished with your map, um, if I go back to my Google Drive, you can see there's the test map right there. Absolutely. Don't forget, you can share it with editing rights so everyone can add to a map. So that's our five-minute tech tip.